So let me introduce you to our next three panelists. Um, to my right, we have Jacqueline Matoro. Matoro. Uh, she's a health specialist, Swiss Corporation Office in Tanzania. Besides earning a master's degree in public health from the University of London, Jacqueline Matoro graduated in Ireland with a master's degree in development studies. Ms. Matoro has performed the role of health specialist for Tanzania since 2004, and she will help us to understand the national perspective and role of a donor in Tanzania, which is a priority country of the Swiss Corporation. And then we have Dr. Nduli Kapolokwe. Uh, he has a master's degree in public health. From 2013 till 2015, he studied here in Basel and uh, studied at the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, where he earned an MBA in international health management. And uh, since February 2014, he has held the position of regional medical officer in Jinyanga, central north Tanzania, and he will bring in the local perspective and role of the local authorities in the day-to-day -day project implementation. And then we have Susan Amsler, health specialist for global health at the SDC headquarters here in Bern. Before specializing in global health uh, through various forms of training, Susan Amsler earned a master's degree in social sciences at the University of Lausanne. Ms. Amsler began her career assisting and collaborating in projects based in Mali, in Tanzania, and in Switzerland. And from 2009 to 2011, she worked as a UN project manager in Tanzania. And she will represent the global and Swiss perspective and role of a donor at an international level. And you will have the possibility um, to send in your questions via SMS. We will uh, answer your question if you have any within the last five to ten minutes of our panel here. So please feel free to send in if you have any kind of question. You can send it in by German or English and we'll answer it right up front. So I'd like to start with you, Ntuli uh, Kapolokwe. Uh, we've seen in the film people registering very um, graphically with the, with the mobile phone for the health insurance now. Can you tell us about the health insur insurance situation in general in Tanzania. If I'm right, I saw this is just one district where this is happening right now. That's correct. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to register my sincere thanks to SDC and the, Swiss, the people of Switzerland uh, for supporting the people of Tanzania through the health promotion system strengthening project. Secondly, I'd like to register my personal mm -hmm. Uh, thanks to the SDC for having invited me to represent my country. But great to have you country. here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the history of Community Health Fund as an insurance scheme started way back 20 years ago when we piloted in one of the districts in Tanzania. But since then, it has suffered a number of challenges. One among ch few challenges was... Uh, inability of people to be registered uh, uh, from different areas of Tanzania, and also poor governance of the scheme, also poor transparency and finances. And that was the reason behind why uh, Tanzanian government had to request the Swiss government to come up with a project which will strengthen the health system, especially on the insurance funding. Which challenges were the hardest to tackle in the beginning? You've named a couple of them. The biggest challenge was um, indeed trying to change the mindset, especially of healthcare providers. They were used to enroll people at the healthcare facilities, which is contrary to the insurance principles, which uh, emphasizes on the separation of function between providers and purchasers. But that was contrary. So with new project, especially health system strengthening project, we have separated the function of providers and purchasers. And that has reduced what we call moral hazards and adverse selection. Because